Hey, it's your boy DJ Lucky Lefty, and today I'm back with a quick video on setting up Studio One in your MPC so you can track live from your six outputs and record them into Studio One. Uh, so before we get started here, I'm going to assume that you already have a interface that can handle um, taking your six outputs from their MPC. Uh, so I'm not set up on working with the uh, Focusrite Scarlett 18i8, uh, which has uh, eight inputs. Uh, so basically I have my MPC routed uh, in channels three through six um, for uh, mono for my drums and then uh, into seven and eight as a stereo channel for my samples, melodies, etc. And then in input one, I have my mic, uh, which you see me talking on now. And then uh, analog two is a bass guitar. Uh, but we're not really going to get into uh, you know, setting up your audio and routing. Today's focus is basically the MIDI settings um, in both your MPC and Studio One. Uh, so everything will be synced together and how to offset the uh, recording delay. Okay, so uh, first let's talk about settings in the MPC. Uh, so first you wanna come to preferences on your MPC. And there's gonna be three things we wanna look at. Uh, so for your input and output ports. So I'm using the USB cable. Um, so under remote, you know, you want to have everything checked off global control and track and then sync and track on the outputs. If you are using the five pin cables, then you want those things checked off for ports A or B and one and two, depending on where you have your five pins plugged in. Uh, you want to make sure that enable MIDI ports when discovered is checked off. And then the MIDI control mode output um, does not uh, really matter. As you see here, mine is still set to A, even though I'm using the uh, remote. Uh, so this is not going to really matter, but should typically match this. But this is not going to affect what we're doing here. Uh Next, you want to make sure uh, that the sync receive and sync send are both set to MIDI time code instead of beat clock. And then you want checked off for it to receive and send MMC messages. And then lastly, you want to uh, leave the frame rate at the default of 30 drop start time, all zeros and you know, off program change, many input filters, non-checked, uh, and you can leave all that as default. And so that's gonna be it on the MPC side in terms of your uh, setup. So now let's go over to Studio One. Uh, so Studio One, you're gonna click and go into your preferences. Uh, and then there's going to be two things we're looking at. Uh, so first, you're going to go to external devices and you need to uh, add your MPC. Uh, so what you would do is come down here on the bottom left and click add new instrument. Uh, now then manufacturer, you would type in you know, Akai, device name, MPC, uh, and then your send and receive. Uh, so as I said earlier, I'm using the uh, USB cable, so I'm using the option uh, the network MIDI Akai network. If you are using the uh, five pins, uh, then you want to. Um, no, in my case, my five pin connection goes through my Scarlet, so if that was the case, I would pick the Scarlet for both the receive and send to. Um, but the USB cable works just as good, so I uh, changed both of those. Uh, so I'm getting a message because I've already had this uh, set up. We're just going to click OK for purposes of this. Uh, so again, uh, then all many channels check. 
and then you want to check off send MIDI time code and click OK. And then your new instrument will show up there. Uh, so I'm just going to delete this one since I already have mine set up. Uh, and then let's just come in here. So now this is the one I have already set up. So you see I have my manufacturer name, device name, and now the MIDI network is checked off for both from and to all channels checked and send MIDI time code. So next we want to come over to your preferences again and under advanced there's two tabs we want to uh, look at the uh, synchronization so under here no this box should be unchecked and both of these should be none the second item you want to come to uh, is under MIDI uh, and you see where it says record all set right now it's set to uh, zero uh, we're gonna leave that at zero and we're gonna come back to that uh, later in the video uh, the last thing you want to look at is you want to come down to the bottom left of the preference box and click on song setup uh, and then under the general settings and song setup you want to come here to the frame rate um, by default, Studio One keeps it at 25. You want to uh, change it to 30 drop to match what your MPC setting was that we just went over. And okay. So now that we got that set up, now that you hit, now when you hit play in Studio One, that will start your MPC as well. So let's go ahead and do a test recording. We've already got our tracks armed. Okay, so let's unsync our MPC so we can hear just the playback. Okay, so it recorded our loop, but the problem is there is a delay. And so the kick is not starting at the top of the track. So let's zoom in here. So you want to put the cursor right at the beginning of that kick. So if you come down to the transport, you want to make sure it's set for samples. And so once it's set for samples, you have it at the beginning of your kick. Uh, so it's giving me 3018 samples. Uh, so now you're going to go back into Studio One preferences. And under the advanced tab and audio under record offset, you're going to put that number, but it's going to, you're going to put it as a negative value. So negative 30, 18, apply. Okay. Uh, so, uh, let's get rid of this and we'll do a new recording. Uh, so I forgot to resync the MPC. So let's uh, undo that and try it one more time.
So now when we look at that new recording, no more gap. So now that kick is flush right with the beginning of the track. So there you go. You are all set now in sync and you can go ahead and start tracking out your MPC right in the studio one and get the mixing. Uh, so basically the same thing is applicable to Pro Tools. Um, some of the settings are slightly different and I will be doing a video covering the same uh, technique and Pro Tools and getting your sample uh, record offset all synced up uh so if you like the content make sure you hit that like and subscribe button thanks